Imagine a place so treacherous, so unpredictable, that even the most seasoned sailors, with all their technology and experience, still steer clear of its waters. A place where the sky and sea blend into one, and the very horizon seems to disappear in the chaos of violent waves and howling winds. This is the Drake Passage the infamous body of water that lies beneath South America, where ships are tested to their breaking point, and many have failed. For centuries, the bravest explorers have risked everything to navigate these waters, only to be swallowed whole by the unforgiving sea. The waves here can rise as tall as buildings, crashing with a force so intense that ships are tossed like toys in a storm. Sailors speak of rogue waves, sudden gales, and whirlpools that come out of nowhere, pulling vessels into the abyss without a trace. But what makes the Drake Passage so deadly? Why? In this age of advanced navigation and shipbuilding, do crews still avoid it, as if it's cursed? Some say it's the sheer unpredictability of the weather, where calm seas can turn into a violent tempest in a matter of minutes. Others speak of the powerful ocean currents that surge through the narrow passage, capable of dragging even the largest ships off course. And then there's the cold, an icy chill that cuts to the bone, freezing the hulls of ships and making survival nearly impossible. Yet despite its dangers, the Drake Passage remains a critical route for those daring enough to traverse it. But make no mistake, this is no ordinary stretch of ocean. It's a watery graveyard, littered with the wrecks of ships that thought they could conquer its wrath. So why do ships still steer clear, even in modern times? Join us as we dive deep into the terrifying truth of the Drake Passage, and uncover why, after all these years, it remains one of the most feared places on Earth. Like this video if you'd rather stay on dry land, and subscribe if you want to dive deeper into the world's most dangerous mysteries. Before the Panama Canal opened its gates in 1914, ships sailing between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans were forced to brave one of the most fearsome routes on the planet. This wasn't just a sea route, it was a gauntlet, a stretch of ocean so notorious for its violence and unpredictability that it earned the grim title of the deadliest passage on Earth. Stretching an unforgiving 620 miles wide, and plunging to depths of 11,000 feet, it's a place where the rules of the sea no longer apply. Here the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Oceans collide in a chaotic fury, creating conditions that can sink even the sturdiest of vessels. The numbers alone tell a harrowing tale. Over 20,000 sailors lost to the icy depths, and more than 800 ships swallowed whole by the abyss. Bees aren't just distant, forgotten tragedies buried in the annals of history. They're the haunting realities that still echo through time, a legacy of terror that remains fresh in the minds of today's sailors. Imagine being a mariner in those days, with no choice but to set sail into the Drake Passage, knowing full well that survival wasn't guaranteed. Ships were often reduced to splintered wrecks, with storms so powerful they tore sails apart, and waves so colossal they flipped entire vessels like toys. Winds could reach hurricane levels, and temperatures would freeze the soul. For the crews, it wasn't a matter of if they would face disaster, it was when. This brutal gauntlet claimed lives mercilessly, and every voyage across the Drake was a game of chance with death. Even now, in the age of modern engineering and advanced technology, the Drake Passage remains a place of legend and dread. Sailors who dare to cross it today face the same monstrous waves, the same relentless winds, and the same icy cold that claimed the lives of so many before them. It's a constant reminder that despite all our progress, there are still places on Earth that refuse to be tamed. The Drake Passage is one of them, and its deadly reputation is one that sailors will never forget. The Drake Passage isn't just dangerous, it's a beast of unpredictability. One minute, the sea seems calm and the next, rogue waves the size of small skyscrapers emerge without warning, crashing down on unsuspecting ships with the force of a freight train train. Imagine a wall of water towering over 60 feet high, slamming into your vessel and tossing you around like a rag doll. There's no escape from the brute force of nature here. Even the sturdiest ships, built with the latest technology, are no match for the sheer power of the Drake's fury. In 2022, the unthinkable happened. A rogue wave slammed into a modern cruise ship, killing a passenger and injuring four others. A grim reminder that the sea doesn't discriminate. Whether you're in a cutting-edge vessel or a creaky wooden schooner, the Drake Passage makes no exceptions. Entering this treacherous waterway is not just a voyage, it's a gamble with your life. And then there's the wind. In the Drake Passage, there's no land to soften its blow, no barriers to shield you. 
It's just raw, unrelenting force. These winds howl at insane speeds, often reaching 45 miles per hour and sometimes even more. But the real danger is not just in the speed, it's the relentlessness. The wind here doesn't come in gusts, it comes in a constant, punishing barrage, whipping the ocean into a frenzy. Massive waves rise and crash in an endless, violent cycle, pounding the ship over and over again. Sailors have a name for this relentless onslaught, the Drake Shake. And it's not just a clever phrase, it's a living nightmare. Imagine being trapped for 48 hours in what feels like a gigantic washing machine. You're barely able to stand, let alone sleep or eat, as your ship is tossed and twisted by the relentless fury of the Drake. Every second feels like a battle for survival, and there's no room for error. Crossing the Drake Passage is not just a journey, it's an endurance test. A fight against the most unpredictable and savage forces of nature. For centuries, sailors have feared its waters. And even in today's world of modern navigation and technology, that fear remains. Because no matter how prepared you think you are, the Drake Passage has a way of reminding you who's really in control. Yet, despite all the dangers, the Drake Passage has never lacked for brave, or perhaps desperate souls willing to face its fury. Back in 1578, Sir Francis Drake himself, the passage's infamous namesake, ventured into these unforgiving waters. But it wasn't boldness that brought him here. It was the cruel hand of fate. A storm, like the the ones that still batter these seas today, veered his fleet off course, casting them into the merciless jaws of the Drake. It's said that Drake and his men barely survived, and even in those early days, sailors whispered of ghostly presences and ships lost to the cold depths. One of the most chilling tales is that of the schooner Jenny, a vessel discovered frozen solid, its crew entombed in ice, perfectly preserved in time. Their expressions, locked in the moment of their last breath, a grim reminder of the icy grip the Drake Passage holds on all who dare cross it. Even now, some believe that the restless spirits of those lost sailors still wander these haunted waters, forever trapped in the abyss, their cries carried by the howling wind. Fast forward to today, and even with our modern ships and state-of-the-art technology, the Drake Passage is still a nightmare for any sailor who dares to cross it. This is no leisurely voyage. Every inch of the ship must be secured. Dishes, laptops, even the crew themselves. Everything needs to be tied down just to survive the violent, never-ending onslaught of waves. Imagine being in a place where one moment, you're floating, weightless, as if gravity itself has abandoned you. And the next, you're crushed under your own body weight as the ship lurches violently beneath you. This is the brutal reality of life in the Drake. The violent rocking is so intense that sailors sometimes have to tie themselves to their bunks to avoid being thrown out in the middle of the night. It's a crossing that tests not just the ship's strength, but also the human spirit. The Drake Passage, even today, remains a test of endurance, patience, and sheer will. There's no escaping its wrath, only surviving it. So why is this place such a maelstrom of chaos? The Drake Passage isn't just any body of water. It's the only place on Earth where three of the planet's most powerful oceans collide in a furious dance of destruction. The Atlantic, Pacific and Southern Oceans converge here, their currents and temperatures clashing violently, creating an endless battlefield of water. At the heart of this aquatic war zone is the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the mightiest current on the planet. This behemoth moves over 4.6 billion cubic feet of water every single second, more power than any human could ever tame. That immense force churns up monstrous waves, often towering over 60 feet, and fuels the formation of swirling cyclones that appear without warning. It's a watery hell where the ocean itself is always shifting, unpredictable, and deadly. It's no wonder that even the bravest of captains avoid this nightmare whenever they can. But why do ships, even with all our modern technology, still steer clear of the Drake Passage? The answer is simple. Because this place is as dangerous now as it was when the first explorers set sail. Whether you're aboard a 16th century wooden galleon, its creaking hulls straining against the waves, or a cutting-edge cruise ship equipped with the latest technology, the Drake Passage doesn't discriminate. This is a place where human ingenuity meets its match. It's an unpredictable beast. One moment it lulls you into a false sense of security, and the next it unleashes a fury that can swallow you whole. Some daring adventurers still gamble with this watery monster, hoping to make it through unscathed. But for most, wisdom prevails. They choose safer routes, knowing full well that in the Drake Passage, it's nature, not man, that's in charge. And one wrong move, it could very well be your last.